Greetings from the Tour de France. This is James Start with Frankie and Joel after stage eight of this year's Tour de France from uh, Tomblain to uh, Gerard Mer, one of the first sort of climbing stages this year yeah. of, of significance and the first uh, first stage in this year's tour where a breakaway actually broke away. <laughs> and stayed away, and which stayed. I, I, yesterday I thought the break was gonna have a chance to stay away, so I was wrong. Today the break actually did get to stay away. About five guys, uh, Chavanel was the best placed guy at 26 minutes, so he was absolutely no threat. And watching, it was all sunny, the pack was just rolling along, and literally they were just rolling along. I mean, they, they took up to like 10 minutes, over 10 minutes. We haven't seen a, you know, a real transition stage like that. Yet in this year's race, that's almost you know almost ten days. The into guys it. were dying for a rest, and some guys were dying to finally get into a break that went somewhere. So it was great. All those surprises, you know, got strong. I mean, there's a lot of strong men. Terpstra, Chavanel, like you said, but Kadri um, from Ange Dozier turned out to be really the strong man. Kadri, I know him a bit. He's he's really sort of a utility man for um, for the AG2R team. The AG2R team's got a lot of sort of GC riders that are right there under the radar. They have like three or four people that are yeah, like you said, right there. You know, they have two guys right now that could be on the top 10 in this year's tour with Bardet and Peru. Um, and then state, big stage hunters like Riblon, who won Alpe d'Huez last year. So, Catchery's always been that sort of utility guy, but he can go in those long breaks. He was in the long break already uh, on stage two, uh, that Nibali won into, in England. Uh, and he was the one who dropped everybody and held out the longest. That's where he picked up most of his points for the uh, But he had, the, the other the thing, he had jersey. Simon Yates there. I actually thought Simon Yates was going to be able to hang with him a little bit longer, but Gadre, you know, more experience, a better veteran, and hung on to the end, and Simon Yates kind of cracked near the end. He was just happy to be able to make the break. But Simon Yates, uh, a very good climber from Orica Green Edge. But in the end, uh, Contador was testing his climbing legs. I mean, he was really putting the pressure on Nibbly and Nibbly seemed to respond only cracked at the very end but that's only a crack I was only on a 2k climb and he did crack for three seconds so I'm starting to think my, what what might happen on a 20k climb maybe I mean th thank God he did crack thank God he did not win uh, otherwise you know the suspense in this year's tour was taking a big hit right now with just even three seconds just showing any sign of weakness we don't know what's up the question marks are still out there but I was real impressed with, uh, with the whole Saxo Bank team, Tinkoff Saxo Bank yeah. team. Uh, I mean, riding at the front, driving the pace, yeah. shelling guys, big name guys were getting the bomb. Yeah. And they were like two, three guys still at the front. He didn't use up everybody, you know? No, they were very strong. And then also with Garmin, it's like Talansky didn't even crash yesterday. They were on the front taking care of position and then Talansky had a nasty crash and the descent kind yeah. of scraped up both cheeks. So again, you know, not really sure what his condition is going in tomorrow, but that's not a good sign. TJ came back, seemed to ride really well, seemed to be uh, coming back up to like the crash yesterday didn't affect him. Jorgen Vandenbroek, boom, kaboom. gone. F Fuchslang, boom, kaboom, kaboom, gone. Just, I mean, a mess. Would I mean, we say out? Nah, that was last year, whenever, that was a while ago. Two years ago. That was two years ago. Vintage, but uh, tour they're not out. They're just, boom, gone. And so uh, we're going to see more and more of that. And what's happening is the fatigue. You know, it, they're getting it. We still have two more hard mountain days. I mean, tomorrow we go to Mulho Mullet, Mulhoose? Mulhoose. We go to Mulhoose. 160... Big car museum there. 161K. It's the first time we're going to have a Cat 1 climb. Um, six climbs on the day. And again, we still have another stage even after that. Guys are cracked. Yeah, they're, I, they're dead. They don't have the legs anymore. Well, I think tomorrow will be another sort of transition stage. I think another break can go away uh, because of that, that one uh, Cat 1 climb is a long way from the finish. But the following day, up to the Planche de Belfi, that's going to be all the strongmen at the front. We, we've seen it before. We saw it uh, two years ago. That you're going to see really who can climb. We don't have to worry about Froome winning. Or Wiggins. <laughs> Either one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So wait, wait. Ah, Molus, who's going to win tomorrow? Ah. Tough. Another break. Uh... I gotta think of someone. I'm putting you on the spot, and I can't even think of anybody that. Uh, yep, yep, yep. You really can't, there. can you? Mm -hmm. No, nope, you're not doing a very good job of that, are no, you? No, let's just let's just wait and see. Wait and see. Yeah, because I don't know any. I don't oh, know. You're who to, I, I'm not sure who to pick. I'll pick Jens. He's he he wants to go on a break. <sighs> oh hey, my God. favorites. <laughs> Gonna get another ten minutes. He can get up a little cat one climb with ten minutes. Garens, Simon Garens. Simon Garens. Yeah. Simon Garens. Right, he's in the race, right? Yeah. A one get over a cat one climb? He's gonna be in the break. All he's gotta do is uh just get over. Yeah. Press it. To tomorrow. And you have your you have your cheap rose. I have my cheap beer. I don't even call this rose, I call it just pure swill. That's what they gave us. I mean Alright, cheers. Cheers. It was raining all afternoon. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> From the tour this is.
George Talk with James Starr and Frankie Andrea. You forgot the ending there. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Well